five seconds remaining. First two pick from FTD Club C. Tuts coming Radiant out. Radiant team pick. Radiant team pick. Tusk and Lena for FTD C. Emperor Spirit right pick. after that by C Deck The band pick so fast. Seems like C Deck Yu is ready. You know, they're playing with Radiant full confidence. Team band. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Say hi to all the guys in the chat room. Thank you so much for tuning in to this one. Dire team bad. Dire team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Radiant team ban. About the hunter, night stalker, the next ban of the two. Banned from FCD Club C. Ten I think they might remaining. have to ban something like Spirit Breaker because it seems to be a Spirit Breaker remaining. for C Deck U to combo up with a, an Ion Shell. Reserve time. Radiant Team Pick. seconds remaining five seconds remaining reserve time Sorry, I was contacting organizer about the about the schedules because uh, tomorrow we still have some match. Team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Rubik. Yeah, okay. Radiant team pick. seconds remaining five seconds remaining 
Reserve time. Wind Ranger at your service. Radiant team back. Okay, sorry. Uh, I Dire team I was back. texting with um with some organizers and what do we have here for the draft? We we got we Radiant got Ancient Apparition Last Band and Lion Last Band. So I'm pretty sure that it's going to be an alchemist. Last oh not not gonna be an alchemist. Yeah, it could be an alchemist last hero for FTD Club C, but with that way, their drop will be super greedy. Oh, I'm sorry, it's going to be an alchemist for C deck huge side because their last band remaining. is lion. Now I think it's five seconds remaining. Oh man, wait! A dazzle for FTD Club C. Dire team pick. Seconds remaining. Five seconds Ten second remaining. Second remaining before the reserve time for Team Cedek Youth. Reserve time. It seems to be that they already have all their core heroes: Wind Ranger, Ember Spirit, and and Darkseer. But if they if they pick Alchemist. Is still reasonable. They can they can move that Wind Ranger to be a support uh, because I don't see any reason to ban Lion when when you don't want to play an Alchemist. Seconds. If you take a look at Team FCD Club C, BKB really need that for CDEC Youth. Sky Rat Sky Mage. Mage. Okay, okay. We are in the game Prepare already. This is battle. our last game of the day. Gonna do some quick intro who play who in this game. For FTDC in the radiant side, X out the build on Tusk, Feet on Dazzle, Ripok on Lena, Monet on Garicopter, uh, Quay on Queen of Pain for C deck Y in the dire side, Arme on Ember Spirit, June on Darkseer. I see on Rubik in flame on Wind Ranger and this army gonna get caught for the first time in this game. It's just for a minute one a snowballing rocket barrage, but they just cannot stop this Amber Spirit from running away like a goddamn fool. Ame was alive. Look at that gyrocopter. Thirty it's seconds. Very weird. To that. Quite atomic ray first uh, thruster, and that that is very good ship. And the 
Alright, the battle begins. It seems like the room Every is coin has for it. Queen of Pain, Aqua, and In Flame, Wind Ranger. Did you want that? In flame. Middle lane is a battle between Inflame Bin Ranger versus Queen of Pain by Arque. This game is actually um I think just now that's a standing. So now it's in flame uh, going middle lane instead of army. Army on Ember Street top. Bottom lane Gyrocopter free farming bottom while uh, Darkseer already abandoned his lane and farming NC with his ion shell. Still pretty silent. It's just like the same old uh, Chinese game that they, they just keep on farming first. Not much ganking with a smoke gang or just trying to do some risky play in the lane. Level two for Tusk. Darkseer is actually have a better situation than Tusk because he's farming in NC and now look at that uh, June almost level 4 He got the bottle A lot faster than his Tusk, he's still level 2 Last hit for June. Next out of build, searing shade. Next up to Tuss. Tuss is gonna man fight right here. Snowball in, setting up an igloo, waiting for his teammate. But that is no an actual teammate. That he was all alone there. There's one guy near him, but it's Lena. I cannot help anything on him. It's almost a first blood, and it's going to be Lena fall down. See, that why got another kill on that touch, too. X out Bill. Bottom what an aggressive dry, uh, dive in by Team C Deck Y and they're just gonna get the tower too. Wow, look at that wrap Dyer's around. Structures are fortified. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Setting up an ice chart. One 
from Lane Monet, Skyrocopter, and take out this power. Gyrocopter with the tower. Gyrocopter now just got his ring of Aquila, I guess. Let's take a look at the network leading by the, the Ember Spirit. Poor man shield, enchanted mango bottle, and a boot of speed. Take a look at the graph. Graph shows that it's still pretty even between two teams. See deck Y got a hate on experience earned. Nice action still on our play. And he plays the finish him with a power shot. Look at that double damage in flame XL. But he, I suddenly regret my decision. Now he just need to. No ball in and walk away once again. Spamming Arcane Bow. X out of field still in the river and he's gonna die in the river. But Chalo Grace comes out from his teammate. Please just save his life. And it's going to be Demon instead who die right here. No, Demon finished that X out of field first. He should have just left uh, his teammate to kill that um, Skyrod man. free kill. So he died too. And Radiance our main top got the top fall. tower too. Radiance bottom Pretty tower good farm for uh, Ember Spirit. did is um, he, he dragged the creep wave here and the support just hit the creep wave here and dragged him out so these two guys does not affect uh, on the on the what's it called flag cannon radiance middle tower because gyrocopter is not that strong enough to take two camps at the same Three time Skyrath. see they're coming in so deep and engine still on our way now this game is gonna be totally different for Arque on Queen of Pain. It's not easy like last game because C deck got Mr. Demons right here. He he actually got level two on engine seals. Four second silence. And that's hurt for the Queen of Pain. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Ember Spirit and Darkseer, Ion Chair and Flame Gun is just too OP, man. Ember Spirit gets near you and his Flame Guard on and also an Ion Chair. Zero percent chance to survive. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Rubik. Spirit, 1k gold in his pocket. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. All right, almost 10 minutes. Far to take a look at some items updates once again. This is what they got now. The item gap is not Radiance that bottom big tower yet, is under attack. but yeah, in favor of Team C deck. Deceptive rune of invisibility. See the cry. Ember 
Ember Spirit just picked up the bottle. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Gyrocopter seems he's just gonna go straight for a Black King bar. As I told you guys that I think Black King bar is very important for FTD this game. You can see. Daring Kane comes out uh, and he knows that this guy is going to use the call now so he walk away. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Searing Kane with his Lena. Light side array hit. Ame is still chasing down on Lena. We're going to go pop up his haze rune. But he decided to leave. I don't know why. Meanwhile, Queen of Pain is strike back. Aque get the kill of that inventor with her Sonic Wave, I guess. Yeah, Sonic Wave. Still in control of the game for Sedek. Talking about Sedek, Sedek uh, Prime team is also doing very good job in the in the Frankfurt. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Instructions are fortified. Fire remnant back for Ember Spirits. Game is kinda like uh, a little bit stay back for Team Sidek now. Flame on the Wind Ranger. Radiance the, top tower. He's gonna go for the next attack. item, Aghanim Scepter. He bought a pipe booster, but I think he's about to get ganked by three heroes of FTDC. Now they need to go in because um, the flame revealed the smoke. Revealed that smoke. Radiance top tower is under attack. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Three heroes of Team Phoenix. Now started off with a nice shot uh, from Exile's build. Now he's gonna get tackled there. Exile's build, I don't know why he's going in like too, a little bit too deep, I think. But yeah, FTDC is still okay. All of them retreat as a group of five. Fire Remnant's in, Searing Chain maybe, Light Strike Array. Nice dodge on that Light Strike Array. Connected with a, with a tackle, but seems like that Tut is trying to save every single his. Uh, every single teammate in his snowball uh, Ember Spirit got the kill on that laner Now Fire Remnant is trying to burn everyone with the Dark Sea Eye on channel And the Ember Spirit uh, playing card though About to dazzle Double kill for the Ember see. Spirit Well I just realized that Ember Spirit these days They are not buying something like a face boot or a uh, or a boot of travel favor. anymore. They are all going for some battle. Uh, sorry, power threats for you know uh, a better, better fight in team fight.
in flame. Got 1.2k gold in his pocket right now. And I'm gonna show you the graph a little bit. The graph is going down and down with Team Cedex side. The only hope of MTDC right now is the Gyrocopter. Uh, this Gyrocopter, instead of going for the BKB, he just, he just got his Sanj. Blade of Akarity over there. Gonna go for Sentin Yasha first. One has first fallen. this quite interesting Cedic Radiance bottom smoke. tower is under attack. All heroes right here gonna gonna come from behind and side it off the Look at how fast they can get that cleaner. Cleaner loving the blade before he die, but that's it. So much damage coming out of Flame Guard and Ion Shell. This combo is just too OP. Flame Guard level 4 and Ion Shell level 4 is just too much. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Of the mechanism for Dark Seer, I think his next item is going to be a Guardian Creep. Radiant structures are fortified. Ember. 2.2k gold in his pocket for Ember Spirit. Now 3 to 10. Still, you know, it's kinda hard for FCD. To really actually come back in this game, but take a look at Daryl Hopper. Not bad, you know. In this such a hard game, he still managed to get some high in the face. Sentient Gaja and Bring of Aquila. Radiant's top tower is under attack. That is a con of playing Skyrod, man. He, he actually doesn't have... He doesn't have anything to protect himself. The only thing he has is his movement speed that is very fast. But if the enemy just reach him, then, then it's just GG. I see. My Ember Spirit already finished his Battle Fury. He's just gonna use the Courier to send his Battle Fury and just clear the stack here, I think. Dyer's top tower is under Coming attack. In. 
for FTDC. How are they gonna fight this one? They need an eye target for FTDC. Can't see much. And it's dark here to pick up the ages. No, not yet. He's very carefully. Look at that proper vacuum wall. But yeah, see that wide? Wait. It's actually. My god, see that wide? Wow. Team White in only around uh, like um, three or four seconds. I'm not sure what happened, but it seems like the more damage coming out of this of this gyrocopter, a Calda actually hit everyone and also disrupted the barrage and flash and destroy everything. And the other guy is uh, Queen of Pain. The connection to the gyrocopter seems like hot. I don't think that's a good idea. Snowball in it, it was a little bit too deep, but inside the tower, and I think it's going to go down. Nice to see some way to save Tass time. It's going to use the TP out of the uh, war zone by a remnant in series chain connected on with Tass and Lina. But the melt that as usual, I may always aim on the support first. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Man, that team fight actually brought Team FTDC back to life. Ember <laughs> Spirit. Spirits. All right. Take a look at some gold for a minute charge right here since the game is a little bit slowed down. Just trying to farm first. <laughs> the fastest farmer in the the fastest farmer in the game is actually Ember Spirit with 463 gold. He just bought a blink dagger for Ember Spirit. Ember. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Uh, 
Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. FTD. X out of build. Dyer's top tower has fallen. They're just gonna keep pushing each other like this for a while. for the Vin Venger Queen of Pain finished back on the Skyrod lane but Queen of Pain herself was caught uh, at least he managed to buy uh, sorry they need to go this way before she died uh, from the BKB He's going in for that speed and in wide uh, Ame I don't think how Ame can just standing pro to pro fighting with that with that guy Hunter he's not the kind of hero he's just gonna use double kill already for Ame Hutt's killing spree broken Telekinesis on Hutt Where's Ame? Ame is right here, but he was so low. Can he finish that cut? Not sure though. And yep. <laughs> nice heal, and that's it. Fight recap. It's pretty close, close fight between two teams. actually an intense game but I'm running out of my energy but I'll try my best maybe I need some sponsors like Red Bull or something you know energy drink for, for the caster really I think you know casting the game is consumes a lot of energy and it would be great if I can you know um, get some Red Bull or monster energy Spirit level 16 1.6 Okay, go in his pocket. He's just gonna go for the next item Eye of Scotty for Ember Spirits A Blink Dagger Valkyrie and Eye of Scotty Top lane, what about Wind Ranger? Wind Ranger, um, instead of going for Desolator, Wind Ranger go for BKB. That is really big thing. Collectionation can still easy kill on that Queen of Pain. Nice gank by three heroes of Team C deck. C deck coming in, Light Side Array. Didn't connect to anyone. Something by the Ember Spirit, Fire Remnant away after the God War punch. Slow him down with the dazzle, blink in, trying to deal some damage with them. 
with an ion shell. The magnet is back. We invent and finish someone over there. And now it's a good chance for Team C deck to get another Roshan after a failed Roshan fight last time. Radiance top tower is under attack. Thank you. Top lane is gonna be solo queue, I think. Light of fist. Bob is mech. My no, not gonna be the first time that Lena got away from the it was the uh, color of the PKB for Aqua, but Aqua need to blink away Radiant's at the same time. Cedek just got his Aegis. Pop up the Guardian's Grief. You know, the Guardian's Grief helps a lot to Team Cedek to just keep continue um, pushing and pushing. I really like this item for the Guardian's Grief. <laughs> Fifty healed for the Guardian Three. Ember Spirits and his friends. Hyperstone. Hyperstone in this case might be something like uh, Assault Crash, do you think? Yeah, Assault is not bad. Every coin helps. with the BKB, Agony Center and Aegis of Immortal. I think that is enough items to, to push in. Comforting rune of regeneration. Skyrot Mage. the graph the graph has shown us as this just like last game everything is under control is of C deck Y they perform better especially on this guy Arme yeah. 0.58 per attack Oh my god, it's a soccer ass. That is actually my first time seeing AC on Ember Spirit. It's actually not bad. Good 
game for repack at all. Blade is gonna man fight because he still has an Aegis. Now Snowball, uh, Warren's one, slide top beat and fire rip that the way that Gyrocopter was down. I'm pretty sure the Gyrocopter doesn't have here. Yeah, he doesn't have buyback. Your non on FTD hero has buyback. So it's going to be a Rex for sure. Radiant structures are fortified. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. First racks of the game go to Team Z Deck Y at 36 minute mark. They are getting Radiant's closer and closer to the victory of this game for C Deck Y. Blinking again by Ame. Dark After that triple kill gyrocopter, you can get another kill because see they just kite him with an ember spirit. Trying to take down the top tier 3 tower. Still not no enemies already. But I, I think that they are strong enough. Boras <laughs> find on the Ranger. This is gonna use his switch run. Ame looking to go in and fall down drop them, but not hitting anyone actually. Dark light. Now it's gonna be hard for C-Deck Y because they, they, they don't have they don't have a call down already. And they got that green of pain. Snowball comes out, tries to use the last Warrus punch before he died. Take out the build goes down, a Zonic Wave comes out, dealing pretty decent damage to the three targets of his of C Deck Y, but still it's just not enough to kill anyone of his C Deck Y. And they keep dying one by one and finally a GT called from Team FTD. 32 to 11 game score in 38 minutes. Radiant's top tower has fallen. Congratulations to Team C Deck Wider to secure that spot in the playoff round for FTDC. I gotta say that um, I'm very sorry about it, but um, it's pretty obvious that that team is still new and they really need some, some experience of the tournament. So this is actually, I'm pretty sure this, they, they tried their best. Okay guys, before we leave today, we're just gonna say goodbye with one last song as usual. Thank you so much everyone for staying with me till the end today. I'm just gonna say goodbye with this song.